Hey everyone, welcome to another Dr. Retro's Video Game Finds video. So let's start with something big this time, and it's a Neo Geo AES, complete in the box. And the special thing about this is that it's the European version. Uh, in America and Japan, the Neo Geo AES was somewhat successful and it got different releases. But in Europe it only had one series released, uh, in very limited numbers, and it totally failed. And that's why we didn't get more releases. I've been after this for a while and I'm really happy to finally have a European version. The Japanese version is a lot more easy to find, but then you'll have to play your games in J Japanese or get it remodded, etc. I just wanted original and now I finally can play my games in English on this European console. The difference with the other versions is what you can see here at the back is that the sticker is in French in this case. There's also a UK version out there and uh, that's pretty much the only difference. The, sy the system is the same, only the power outlet, etc. So, really happy to have this and finally add it to my collection. Later on in this video we'll get to more Neo Geo stuff. But first, some random pickups. Uh, these finds were all from retro conventions in Germany and Belgium. There was a retro convention in, uh, in Bochum, Germany, and one in Leer, Belgium. If you want to see videos on uh, what you could find at those conventions, check out the channel because I got a video on both of those conventions. So, some Game Boy stuff. This is Pocket Bomberman. Oh, the price is actually still on there. Paid 15 euros for that, but it's in great condition. And I just love the Bomberman games, and I love Game Boy games, so that was worth it for me. Then we have... Spiru, also known as Robidus, over here. Uh, it's a platforming game and I just picked this up because it was cheap and most Robidus games are quite hard to find so haven't checked that one out yet but we'll see if that's a rare game. Then Fluid for the PlayStation 1 and this is the limited edition. Normally it should have a sticker here indicating that it is the limited edition but you can see from the contents that it is not the normal version because it has a soundtrack CD by Roger Sanchez. Then Ghost in the Shell, also quite a rare PlayStation 1 game. One of those small box games, as you can see, it's not a normal PlayStation 1 case. Let me demonstrate. See, this is a normal PlayStation 1 case, and this is one of those smaller versions. Then Bomberman 64. Didn't have this. One of the few N64 games I still wanted. Then Batman and Robin for the Sega Mega Drive. Um, this game is completely different from the Super Nintendo version, which I already have. And I really like Batman and Robin, the old cartoons, one of my favorite cartoons from the old days. And uh, so I'm really happy to finally have this. And I probably will do a gameplay video on this, because I'm really looking forward to playing that. Then The Note, a PlayStation 1 game that I had never heard of, and I didn't have, so that's why I picked it up. Uh, I saw it a couple of times at the convention, so it's probably not super rare. It's a Sunsoft game, which are usually not easy to find, and it looks to be a horror, horror adventure game. Then a copy of Fantasy Star 3 that I traded in. I already have this, but I got it at a good price. So, over here we have something that fell out of its package. This is a DVD. Schwarzenegger's Total Recall. A recall, whatever you want to call it, and uh, basically this is Mars. As you can see, it's the planet. Has a booklet and the DVD itself. One of my favorite Schwarzenegger movies, and uh, found this at a second-hand store. Nice addition to my DVD collection. Then a PC game, Lord of the Rings. Already have this, but I picked it up at a really great price, and uh, this. Uh, appears to be more complete than my copy, need to check out if that is really so. See even the diskette or the floppy still have the interplay uh, band around them. Need to see if this is a better copy than my collection copy. Then some Neo Geo AES. Some standard common games, but still I didn't have them and I want as many AES games as possible because they're really the best arcade experience you can have in my opinion. So this is 3 Count Bout, it's a wrestling game, as uh, you probably guessed from the front cover. World Heroes, fighting game, kind of Street Fighter-esque. World Heroes 2, there's also a World Heroes Jet, but I already, 2 Jet, but I have that already. And uh, Soccer Brawl, and this is one I was really looking for because it is a really cool cyber football game where you're basically just 
kicking your opponent's ass instead of playing soccer. Uh, it kind of compares to an early uh, Mario football. I love Mario football on the GameCube, by the way. And uh, this is an early arcade style. Same kind of game. So then one little special item. This is, I got this from a friend who's also a retro collector. Let's see if I can get a focus on that. This is a key chain, a key holder. You can click it, click a key inside there. And it's from the 95 Power Series. So this is the Nintendo Power Series. It was a championship in the Netherlands and in other European countries where you could compete on Super Nintendo games. And um, he had a bunch of promotional uh, stuff, really cool. Really ugly 90s uh, t-shirts and, and vests, etc. And he got a, a lot of those uh, keychain holders as well, and I got one for free. So really happy with that. Then a PlayStation 1 set I have been looking for for years and finally popped one up on eBay. Wasn't a great price but since I've never ever seen one before I decided to pick it up anyway. It's a Playpack Volume 3 so that indicates there should be a Volume 1 and 2 as well. Never seen those. Um, this is by, um, is by PlayStation themselves or Sony themselves. All the games are released by Sony. Gran Turismo, Le Monde de Bleu which is uh, this is football and C12 Final Resistance. It's a big cardboard box, still blister sealed. Then some more rare stuff. First up is Tekken 4, the King of Iron Fist tournament. This is a special release. I can show you on the back. Let's get it zoomed in. Tekken 4 Special Edition celebrates the climax of the King of the Iron Fist Tournament International Finals. Uh, London, Thursday, 6th of March, 2003. Limited run of the Special Edition packaging has produced, but there can only be one champion. I have no clue who actually won the tournament, but this was the game you got at the tournament. And these rarely pop up. The game or the manual is nothing different, it's just a box. But uh, as a PlayStation 2 collector, I really needed to have this. And I'm really happy I finally found one. So then, a uh, Mega Drive game I didn't have, Shining Force 2. It's an RPG. Now I'm pretty much on the way to complete all the RPGs on the Mega Drive. Still need Fantasy Star 4. Saw one yesterday at the convention, but was too expensive for my taste. Saturn Bomberman. Had this one already, but not in complete condition. And this one is complete with the manual. Then a really cool PC game, Dave the Tentacle, it's uh, kind of a follow up on Maniac Mansion. And this is the original big box English floppy version, which is in my collector's eyes the best version you can have. There, just drop the top of the box, here you see all the floppies, six in total, manual and a lot more stuff. We'll do a special unboxing video on that to show you everything that comes with this amazing game. Then Phantasmagoria, Puzzle of Flesh, this is Phantasmagoria Part 2, it's a horror adventure FMV game on the PC. Uh, didn't get too much good reviews, but it's kind of a game I wanted to have in my collection, so that's going to be added. So now for the final, let's see, one, two, three, four items, and these are all really special, so we're going to take a little bit more time for those. First up is a Sega handheld system that I had never seen before in Europe and I finally have it the Sega Nomad so this is actually a Genesis slash Mega Drive because it plays most Mega Drive games handheld so imagine having a Super Nintendo in your hand this is a really cool system which actually plays really well has a good screen uh, it doesn't come with a with a battery pack. You need to buy that separate. I don't have that yet, but you can play with the AC adapter, which is uh, with this set. So you can play your uh, console games on the go, which is amazing in my opinion. We'll do a special unboxing video on this one because it's 100% complete and definitely worth checking out what's all in this box. Then something from a game that I really like. You know that. You probably know that Rodland for the Game, Boys, uh, Game Boy and uh, NES is a really rare European game. And this is a press proto for Rodland on the Game Boy. This is the chip that contains the data. 
the sticker to notify you which game it is and it came with this which is a projector slide showing you slides on the game there you see the Rotland intro screen and here's some more it's hard to get a focus on that because it kind of needs light to go through so this is what a magazine got to review the game it is the complete version of the game that's a bit um, too bad because if it's not the complete game it's even more awesome or rare but I'm really happy with this and uh, can is a nice addition to my Rotland collection so then the last item and the last item is a set of items the first thing I'll show you is a whole bunch of official original Neo Geo AES uh, posters slash advertisements for the games that came out so I'll show you them Sengoku is the first one and the back of all these posters show some info on the game, some screenshots etc and they're all in new mint condition then we have 8 man and here the, the backs are all the same by the way, the same uh, design etc I just put two together to uh, keep them more sturdy Riding Hero which is one of the worst AES games in my opinion Super Baseball 2000 and Burning Fight Cyberlip which is a quite cool uh, Contra-esque game and Ninja Combat Magician Lord and Alpha Mission 2 which is a really really nice uh, shoot 'em up game King of the Monsters and Ghost Pilots and here's another copy of Super Baseball 2000 and this is Crossed Swords so I got these all with the following item and the following item is something I had never seen before and I probably won't keep because it doesn't really fit my collection but I just could not pass on it because it's a Neo Geo AES press release pack there we have it this is the folder that the press got to announce the Neo Geo AES, show its uh, possibilities, etc. And um, I'll just give you a quick browse through it. I will do a full unboxing slash, yeah, it's not really a box, so can't unbox it, but I'll do a full video on it later. So let's open it up. Let's first show the back. And it has a software lineup folder, some uh, examples of MVS uh, control sets, no clue why they put this in another folder on the AES and here you can see the dog which is uh, the logo they used in America uh, marquee, why? no clue and this is the press folder here you can see the AES with its quantum leap forward in video entertainment and the comparison between Super Nintendo uh, Sega and the uh, NEC, so that's the Turbo Graphics, and of course the Neo Geo, which is a lot better, also a lot more expensive. And then some slides or folders or whatever you want to call them to show you which games were going to be released. This is uh, Magician Lord, Top Players Golf, Nam 1975, Baseball Stars Professional, The Super Spy, which is also a horrible game in my opinion, and Riding Hero. So that was it for this uh, this video. Hope you enjoyed it. In my opinion, had some great items, but probably that's just my opinion. So thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see more videos, check out the channel, and of course also subscribe on Facebook to don't to not miss anything. Doctor Retro posts. Um, the Facebook is facebook.com/drretromd. So Doctor Retro MD. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.